Hi there again, I'm Richard Moorcroft and welcome as we continue our Letters and Numbers Masters Series where the best of the best battle it out to be crowned our grand champion. You really can already feel the rumble of anticipation between tonight's two champions as they vie for a spot in the semi-finals. And also feeling the buzz of top competition, Lily Serna. Hey Richard. We did have some top competition last night, but uh, we also had some very easy numbers. Yeah, too easy. I'm really hoping for some difficult uh, maths tonight to really test our brainiacs. Yes, test them and test you, because you enjoy it too. <laughs> welcome, Lily. And please welcome David Astle. <laughs> Thank you, Richard. Thank you. Yes, great stuff last night. Well, the Masters series will bring the most masterful, but uh, for regular viewers of the show, you will not believe the dream match we have tonight. Two fantastic players. Well, let's meet them now. Tonight's quarter-finalists, starting with Series 3 Grand Final winner, Jacob Davey. Hello again, Jacob. Hi, Richard. Great to see you. Now, I don't know whether you realise it, but your name, Jacob, has pretty much gone into the language, into the vernacular, because doing a Jacob is now synonymous with an incredible comeback. And, uh, well, that's what your grand final game was, wasn't it? Well, I'm very honoured to be part of the vernacular now, so... <laughs> I don't know whether it's actually quite made it into the dictionary yet, David, has it? I will make a submission. Uh, not there yet. <laughs> Doing it, Jacob. Yes, you came back uh, from many points down, and in that final game, you know, you got a full Monty, you got the maths right, and you nailed the conundrum. What a comeback. Good luck tonight, Jacob. Thank you very much. And challenging Jacob is Series 1 Grand Final runner-up, Naween Fernando. Hello, Naween. Hi, Richard. Now, great to see you back as well. Great to be back. And what a performer you were. I mean, we had three full Monty's that you gave us. Uh, you gave us seven conundrum solutions. So we're looking forward to some fantastic performance tonight. Well, hopefully I can emulate some of that. Well, we hope so. We're sure you can. Welcome back. We look forward to it. So please... Welcome our quarter-finalists for tonight, Jacob Davey and Nawin Fernando. As always, the letters get us underway. Each letter used in the winning word is worth one point, although a nine-letter word attracts double points, so that is worth 18. Jacob, what do you reckon? Full Monty to start us going? Yeah, I'll do my best. I reckon that's probably likely. No. <laughs> um, Lily, can I please start with a consonant? Thanks, Jacob. S. And another consonant, please. N. And a third. R. And a fourth, please. T. And let's try a vowel. O. And another vowel. A. And a third vowel, please. I. And let's switch to a consonant. N. And let's finish with a vowel, please. And last letter, A. Thanks, Lily. First clock. strongly with a great eight. It's a fantastic word. It's a small sonata, listed and legit. Wonderful play. And the best that you could find? Couldn't better it. Fantastic work. Great start for Noeen. Eight points. More letters? Noeen, your first chance to choose. Um, could I get a vowel, please? Sure. Let's start with you. Uh, another vowel. E. Uh, and a third. I. Uh, we'll try consonant, please. D. Another consonant. S. Uh, another consonant, please. T. Uh, and another consonant. S. Um, could I get another consonant, please? V. Um, could I get another... Um, could I get a vowel, please? 
Last letter, E. 30 seconds.